Happy Prison Park! It is an honor to report it to once again say to you all, Hello Bird Fest. It's wonderful to be all here today. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, all right, did you guys hear okay? Are you loving good? Yeah! We're, we're, we're making sure. It's water out of time. Okay, so a couple things that we need to talk about rules-wise. Uh, number one, there is photography permitted, but we ask that you please do not use the flash on the photography. I guarantee you these are going to be much stronger than your phone. Second of all, if you are doing photography, please post it on social media. Let people know what they're missing. So we want you to use the hashtag FirstFestFDS, and I want you to post it to, to uh, where are we going now? <laughs> YouTube. YouTube, YouTube works, TikTok works, uh, Mastodon works. Um, actually, uh, post, post it on MySpace. <laughs> you know, and it's tag Tom if you do that, okay? So the, the, the uh, theme of this year's convention is superheroes. And I am dressed up as a superhero. I want to guess. Santa Del? Uh, no, actually, I am dressed up as a furry. <laughs> Okay. And when we say the library earlier in this year, do you guys remember that? Yeah. Yeah, somebody, somebody's been paying attention to news. But since we're talking about superheroes and villains, what is a hero without a good villain? About three minutes short for the show. So ladies and gentlemen, Major.
I mean, this is not a joke. When they played that during rehearsal, my first thought was, oh, I haven't fired up Animal Crossing in like a year. I should do it. Oh, that's a bad idea. That's a very bad... I made the mistake of doing that after eight months of not playing uh, Animal Crossing. Every single villager is like, oh my god, I thought you died! <laughs> never again, never again. So, um, how, really quick question, who traveled, who thinks they traveled the furthest? <laughs> Not that I can see anybody's hand, but, uh, our next, uh, our next performer on the stage is, uh, Kane, and he's going to be talking about, uh, half the fun of getting to a con is getting to a con. <laughs> If this was a room party, you guys would all be drunk. I could walk up on stage and just say something about like, hey, has anybody tried to pizza in the hallway? Oh. <laughs> yeah. That joke is a litmus test for how terrible you are, so you laugh. <laughs> if you didn't laugh at that one, though, I really wish I was you. <laughs> but, you know, it's hard to get to a con. You know, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, for me, I didn't really want anybody to know at my job that, you know, I'm a furry. They already know, I you know, I can't hide it. But you guys were all probably just checking, you know, the room registry, trying to win that lotto. Me, I was looking at my office calendar. I wanted to see who was a furry and who wasn't. If you took off Thursday and Friday, I was suspicious. If you took off Wednesday too, yeah, you're probably here. <laughs> <laughs> you know? We have a lot of furries that are just crazy vital to society. You know, high-end skill, level jobs, and everything like that. Please look at me. My resume lists my extensive legal background, and I also have references for how I'm a gun coyote on the internet. <laughs> it says a lot about our society, though. Like, honestly, we should give it up for ourselves. But, <laughs> if Cloudflare goes down this week, we're gonna be the first ones they play. <laughs> The reason why I think that the people at my job know that I'm a furry, I was having a conversation with our HR rep, you know, great person to know that you're a furry. <laughs> our commercial, we use a golden retriever, and this golden retriever is a member of the Screen Actors Guild, apparently animals can do that too. So, I'm jealous, there's another yellow canine that's in show business doing a lot better than me. <laughs> but, she looked at me, dead straight in the eyes, said, you should get your dog costume and be in a commercial. <laughs> I have dignity, though. I had to correct it. One, this is a coyote fursuit. And two, yeah, when do I start? <laughs> you know, but I took the time off. You know, I'm here. And if you've never traveled in a fursuit, it's not easy. Trust me. You have to figure out how to get all of this in a TSA approved suitcase. It has to be underweight. And if it's not underweight, I'm ready. You know? I will open up my suitcase right in the middle of the line, put everything on, and just say, you know what? This is going to be carry on now. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> you know, it's hard for me to remember that this is not a holiday for normal people. You know, I fly in from Dulles in DC. They have no idea what's going on. <laughs> O'Hare, though, you know that they had all the high-end people coming together and saying, you know what? The furries are coming. <laughs> but, you know, you finally get to the con. You can land, you get your bag and everything, you make your way to the hotel, and then the concierge is gonna look at you and she's gonna say, hey, you know what? That's a really cute dog costume. <laughs> So, I have to stop her, because I have dignity. One, this is a coyote fursuit. And two, yes, you can pet me. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.
This is for my husband. He's not here tonight, but he's going to listen to this later, and I want him to know how amazing he is, so I'm going to sing this one for him. Concert, or the DJs are going to show up, or the musicians are going to show up. They're not going to have instruments. They're just going to have like their iPhones. <laughs> Plug in and just, you know. Well, Dead Mouse is almost doing it already. <laughs> anyway, uh, you ready to go? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, and all the ladies, gentlemen, all points between, I'm going to try to get everybody and be all inclusive. Alex.
honestly a modern piece of art in its own way to spend a couple of
Come on, you can hear it. I got to come with a step over here. I don't want to hit this monitor. I can't believe you replaced this. Do you think Stan got cases up for that? I don't think so. Oh dear. <laughs> Things up here. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. That is whoa. Don't take that one. I got big feet. What can I say? There's a joke right there. there, there I'm, I'm, I'm admitting the joke is there, and I'm just letting it sit there. I am quality. Well, since we're at a furry convention, let's talk about the furry fandom. Let's talk about other parts of the furry fandom. Let's talk about squeaky pool toys. Work, working on, but based on those weird furry interests. And in this one, but I can't play all of them, I only have to play one. So the song I'll be playing is Squeaky Pool Toys, which is my favorite.
Thank you. Good afternoon. Did everyone show up on time? Yes, boss. Everyone's been working since sunup. Perfect. The lighting is almost right. Let's get ready to make some movie magic. Now let's see what these so-called writers have set up for this scene. Ah, yes. The complete and utter destruction of Hackensack, New Jersey. Of a model of New Jersey, you mean, right? Of course. A model. That just screams of realism and authenticity. I, Cecil Bird DeVille, the greatest director of all time, am all about realism and authenticity. Not unlike those hats, Bay and Abrams. If you see it in one of my flicks, you can be sure that it happened. And happened right. Now, it's not that I don't trust you, it's just that I don't trust you. So let's go over the camera placement one more time. We have 73 GoPros, 25 high-speed cameras, 38 slow-mo cameras, 56 aerial drones, 85 sacrificial cameras of various makes and models, and, of course, across the river, on the observation tower we build into Hume Park in neighboring Bogota, we have Frank filming the long shot. Ah. Excellent. How's the shot look, Frank? Ready and action! Wow, now that's devastation. I doubt there's a single Dalmatian left in the rubble. Um, CB? I'm seeing problems with the cameras. There's over 270 cameras on set. Which cameras? All of them. All? What about the sacrificial cameras? Sacrificed. The GoPros? Gone. The drones? Blown to Kansas. The high-speed cameras? Not fast enough to escape the carnage. The slow-mos? <laughs> if the high-speeds weren't fast enough, do I really need to explain what happened to the slow-mos? Okay, okay. I can still salvage this. I can't have blown up an entire city for nothing. What does the footage look like, Frank? What's the right, CB? Yep. Lights, camera, anguish. Okay. <laughs> so for our next act is Nisha. And for this act, I want to give you all a Christmas fact. Not that you asked for one, but hey, if you win money on a trivia show someday, just thank a mouse. You know how we leave out milk and cookies for Santa, right? In other countries, they leave out other things. For example, in Ireland, and this is not a joke, they leave out pints of Guinness for Santa. The Irish get Santa, you know? <laughs> and I forget what they did, I think it's like Norway or Finland, one of those two countries, they leave out cups of coffee for Santa. They get Santa too. <laughs> I'm just saying, sometimes I envy the big guy. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, playing the Irish flute, Nisha.
song goes out to all those that we've lost in the fandom and all those that we've lost especially recently. The song's called Rest in Peace.
Till tomorrow they like those kids back then Kids back then It's not because I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> because I was not born in Wisconsin. I was born in Chicago, which explains a lot more. <laughs> right. So our next uh, series of acts, you're gonna see me again after this act because we got some, well, we got some pretty big ensembles showing up right now. That's actually why I'm standing back here because we've got a lot of stuff to set up. Uh, so our first is going to be, uh, let's see if I can remember, a Fox and Cody, yes? Yes. Um, brain not working. If you, if, you, if you start to see smoke, it's not the lights, it's me, my ears. But uh, yeah, I think I think it's stuff over here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I like one more. You guys, I said this already before, you guys are one of the friendliest audiences that I've had the pleasure of hosting for, so thank you very much for that. And also, thank you all very much for coming tonight. So, you ready to go? All right. Uh, so, um, I wish I loved you. New uh, key daughter. I'm cheating. I admit it. <laughs> <laughs>
When I first met you, you always made me smile. We browsed the record store, talking all the while. But all I know, when you opened your heart, was I just being shy? Or did I tell a soulful lie? Until you tell me three little words I wish that I could hold your hand and never break your heart I wish that I could say three little words instead I fall apart Close. Halfway there. Pity him, say yeah, yes. Yeah, we're halfway. 
Okay, so what, so what what am I throwing out there? We got one more. You got one more? Oh, yeah, I know, I got that. I don't know, can the camera see here? No, the camera got on it right now. I have tokens from Santa. Oh my god. Except that specifically says if you made the nice list. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, this is, this is a get out of jail free card right here. Here, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's what I thought it was going to be. You got to get it. So this is, uh, this is a song from a visual novel called The Smoke Room. This is, uh... Please help me paint. Cater. Cater and the otter. Does everyone want to introduce? Cater and the otter... Otter Chaos Band. Otter Chaos Band. Take it away, gentlemen. All right, the song we're going to be playing for you is called Buy a Man Some Pooch. Yes. <laughs> Frontiersman should understand that nothing's more natural than knowing how to move. Here's a tune about an eighth that we can sue. Let's reenact a snappy scene that does my fond of day. About a pair of partners who went up and missed their train. One grabbed the other's wrist and asked, No, buy a man some boots. Of course, the other said, No, buy another work. That's a shoulder blade, it's tempered by the goo. And I feel I can laugh and laugh in a whisper start to prove. Well, if you're feeling sly and gay, I think you know what's next. I've got a high and hobo, so can keep your partner flex.
town two days travel from here that we could resupply at but but the whole town is cursed with lycanthropy and since it's not safe nobody's trading with that town the whole town well it might be a tall order but we might be able to ask our cleric to help no can do the lycanthropes that curse that town are the only ones that can reverse it and they're demanding a rare form of coin that can only be found in houses of the dead what kind of lycanthrope would curse an entire town and demand a, a crypt currency to remove it ransomwares Two hours later. Thank you, you've been very helpful. Assuming this goes well, the first few rounds are on me when I get back. Who are you talking to? Uh, Harry, back at the academy. He was helping us with our lycanthropy problem. You have your ways of finding information, I have mine. So, you have more information? Yes, and I wish I didn't. It seems the leader of our ransomwares isn't an alpha. He calls himself an influencer, and he calls himself like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Make it stranger. Every day he takes his <clears throat> followers to the river to do something he calls live streaming. And they watch him play games, share in-jokes, and he grifts them for gold. Okay, so why do they need money from a crypt? It's complicated. The ransomwares take the gold to the crypts, where they turn it into their own fake currency called Bitcoins. They create something called non-fungus tokens, and they sell them to their followers to get more Bitcoins and turn them back into gold. Non-fungus... The important thing is that it's a cult that gains power and money from uninformed followers, which is why he infected the whole town without warning. Without followers, his power just vanishes. That's insane! Wait, did you say he live streams? That's what he calls it, yes. I got an idea. 12 o'clock midnight. I promise if I die, I'm going to haunt you. If this doesn't work, we go down together. Just skip the script. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Isn't that the famous werewolf like and subscribe? I've always wanted to meet him. Yeah, me too. Ever since he's king endorsed his live streams, he's been the talk of the kingdom. He's on all the posters for the Royal Mead Company. They must have spent a fortune to get his endorsement. Oh, and did you hear? The king is going to let like and subscribe use one of the main rivers in town for his live streaming. That's amazing. I. Oh. What's going on? It's working. His followers are turning on him. Ooh. How'd you know that would work? Nothing will make an influencer lose followers more than getting endorsements and going into the mainstream. And with his followers gone, Lycan has no power or influence. A spell should dissipate in hours. Clever. Oh, that's no leave a mark. We, we should go. We should. Oh, hey, what do you want to do about those weird glowing machinery stuff that we saw on the way in? Destroy the power inputs and leave it. It'll confuse the hell out of archaeologists in a few thousand years. And you're not going to tell them, are you? They'll think it's a shrine to board eight. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> faces when it suddenly dawns on them what you've just done. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching towards the end of the show, unfortunately. Do I have to prompt everything? <laughs> but we do, but I think we're going to end on a bang here. So I think let's, uh... I need, again, my brain just stopped working again. I'm just a mouse. I'm just a mouse. You talk to me? Shut up. Wait, not the rage. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no, we're going to say. Woo! Woo! Folks, we finally got a headline. Newsies crushed as bulls attack. She's calling me dink. It's just too darn slow. Guys, it's fighting, bleeding, falling. Thanks to good old Captain Jack. 
Captain Jack just wants to close his eyes and go! Let me go far away Somewhere they will never find me And tomorrow won't remind me of today
So thank you all for coming. But a couple things, a couple things. There's a lot of people to thank for this production even being possible. And you can see their names on the screen over here. Keeping the show running, we have Blue Healer Sunfire. <laughs> and behind it, also behind it, Brandon Beagle. Also, these people have been making this stage happen and maybe keeping things running all behind the stage. At the front of the house, who are all the way over there, we have Wilm. Thank you, Wilm. <laughs> Ruby, Raz, and Lori. I would like to be very kind of Ruby. Okay, I'm just going to admit that. And then we have the back of the house, and that is our, we have Ezra and Afro. This is their first year doing the variety show, so thank you both for, for uh, embracing the weirdness, essentially. Yeah. Robert and Candace King are the OG. They've been having, they've been in part of this show ever since the beginning of Midwest Fur Fest. So they have been just immensely grateful. Uh, Angel, uh, Absassin, who came back from Purgatory? <laughs> Close enough? Okay. We also have a couple of girlfriends who uh, I didn't catch their names. They have no names. Okay, cool. Brandon Gophers, thank you all very much. And I also want to thank you people for showing up today. You are the thing that makes this show what it is. So thank you all. I want you to give yourselves a round of applause. As much as I, I know it's all going to be a little hard to give yourself a round of applause. But you have been the most fun audience that we've had ever of all time. So thank you all for that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been Chris Mouse. I have been your humble host for this evening. And I'm going to leave you with these following words. Be good. If you can't be good, be careful. <laughs> and if you can't be careful, be descriptive. <laughs> hey, everybody, thank you all very much for coming. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. Silver Gato Man, he bought me a coffee. Silver Gato Man, here is the song for thee. He likes to video all the panels at the cons. You should go and watch them whether they are short or long. So we got your man, you video that's not a jibe. All of you go to his YouTube channel and like and subscribe. <laughs>